Hey, I'm Spaghetti. Welcome back to part two of my advanced FCR and acquisition source tutorial. In this video, you will learn to slave the FCR to the PHS and further link the PHS to the TADS. This is useful for target identification without a gunner or George. If you don't already know how to use the FCR, please watch part one to cover the necessary controls. First, the controls. You want to look for and bind cursor and cursor depress. Then look for and bind link. If you don't know about sight and weapon selection, then go watch part one. For the first video, turn on the FCR by pressing the FCR button, then Util at the top page, then Pinned at the bottom right, and the Bit Override on the left. Now press Site Select Switch left to select the FCR, then press ACQ button and PHS on the right side of the FCR display we turned on a few parsecs ago. Your FCR is now looking in the direction of your IADs. I will now switch modes on the TSD to make the radar cone more visible. Now you can better see the movement of the cone corresponding to my head movements. On the right display, press the video button, then press TADS. On the left, you can choose the field of view from wide, normal, and zoom. Now, press the FCR single scan switch. When the FCR detects a target, press the link button that you found earlier. The TADS is now looking at the target you have selected. I will now demonstrate democracy in action. Using the cursor that was bound earlier, you can zoom in on an area of interest by pressing zoom on the right side of the display that will create a box. Move this box using the cursor over the area of interest and hit the cursor depress button. You can manually select targets by moving the cursor over them and also using depress. I really appreciate the support and comments that people leave, positive or negative. So having said that, I hope that you all have a nice day and thanks for watching.